All right, so this is calibrating the Hatch Pocket Pro. You're gonna be calibrating every single time you go out before you start water testing. So to turn this on for calibrating, you hit the bottom button, hold it down until it lights up. All right, and so you're gonna do two different calibrations. One is for pH and one is for conductivity. I have bottles here, but you will have individual packets in your kit. So in order to calibrate, you want to make sure you're calibrating the right solution. So up top, you'll see it says TDS, so total dissolved solids. In order to switch, you, switch your parameter, you hit this top button. You want to hold down. So this is salinity. You want to keep going. And this is pH. So we'll start with pH. So uncap it. And we have a rule, anything that goes in the cap needs, needs to be sprayed down. So you have DI water here. I've already sprayed it down, so we're not gonna do that again. But you spray both inside the cap and onto the monitor. So you're going to fill up to this blue line. And in order to calibrate, you see this middle button, you're going to tap once. And you should see sort of what the calibration solution number is. So we give you a 7.01, 7 it should be pretty much 7, that bottom, bottom number below. You should see this calibration symbol, which is the little graph down in the corner. And then you just tap it once and it should flash, showing you that number. And now you know it's calibrated. To get out of calibration, you now have to hold this button down until it says end. And now it's calibrated. So you're gonna do the same thing with conductivity. The solution, the conductivity buffer solution is is safe both to touch and is also safe to just go down the drain. So remember everything that goes in the cap has to be sprayed down right after, before and after. So you spray the monitor down and then you spray the cap down. So since we're still on pH, we're going to need to switch over to conductivity. So again, you just hold this bottom button down. So if you accidentally tap it, it locks just to get out of it. You just tap it again. So hold to change. Now it says conductivity or C-O-N-D. And you do the same thing. So now the solution's in, again, you press this middle button, you'll see that graph. You need to wait just a few seconds, conductivity takes a little bit longer than pH for the monitor to be able to read the numbers, so wait about 10-15 seconds. And then you're going to hit it, the middle button, until it flashes, and you'll see 14, 13, and end. 
So now you have both of them are calibrated, both conductivity and pH. Remember to spray it down again. If you don't remember, if you've sprayed it down, it's better safe than sorry. And so that's how you calibrate. Again, it's every single time you go out. You don't need to do it in between sampling, but you do need to do it before your day starts.